Alright guys, welcome to episode 4 of Up Pompey, um, my FM16 series. Now, if you've seen the other videos, um, then obviously you'll, you're pretty much up to date with uh, where we are at the moment, um, apart from what is going to be shown in this episode. Um, if you haven't seen them, please go back and check them out. Um, episode 1 is... Thankfully, it's not quite so important. Episode one, um, it's just going through the team. Um, episode two is basically uh, from the end of pre-season onwards. So um, episode one had a lot of uh, quality problems um, visually. So hopefully, if uh, if you don't want to sit through 20 minutes or so of blurry screen, that's fair enough. Just start with episode two, um, especially if you know about Portsmouth, about the club the players we have then um, you really you can skip episode one um, as I say this is episode four I can't believe we're already on episode four um, it's it's crazy it's, I'm really enjoying making them though so please just let me know if you're enjoying watching them because obviously if nobody's enjoying watching them then there's not much point in me continuing um, as I say I'm really enjoying it so let's get into this episode basically um, just trying to think if we start with the schedule it might give me an idea because it's been a day or two I think it was yesterday uh, we started there didn't we so we've obviously back end of last episode we beat uh, Luton Town 1-0 with Connor Chaplin scoring the goal um, in the 7th minute that was in the live episode the live match during the episode we followed that up with a very disappointing one all draw against bottom of the table Accrington we were really disappointing in this um the stats, we weren't great at all. They had a player sent off as well. Yeah, when we went 1 0 up after 3 minutes, I thought, oh, well, this, this is going to be fine. We're going to be absolutely fine here. Um, we're going to win with ease. But we just we couldn't stick the ball away, to be honest. Um, we really couldn't. We followed that up with a 2 1 win at home to Barnet. They went 1 0 up through John Akinde. Now, my newest signing. Arda Havar, a son of a free transfer, uh, previous team FC Den Bosch in Holland, um, is an attacking midfielder. He got the equaliser for me in his second game, and then Mason Bennett scored his first goal of the um, campaign for us since joining on loan. So that was a nice little turnaround. Um, I was quite, I was disappointed to go 1 0 down, but obviously bringing it back and going 2-1 up just after half time I couldn't really complain too much I um, was quite happy with how we turned it around and we didn't really look like conceding after that that was then followed by a 1-0 win away at Oxford now I was very impressed with this they were the better team by far maybe shots they weren't particularly lethal or anything like that um, they, couldn't hit, they couldn't really hit a barn door but Christian Burgess in the 75th minute from a corner um, his his header gave us the three points so again very happy with that it's quite a surprise result but this this was terrible a 1-0 loss away at Bristol Rovers we weren't good enough we really weren't and I let them know that they weren't good enough um, I made all three subs bef by the 63rd minute basically to try and switch things up but I s yeah we, we just weren't good in this game whatsoever so that um, obviously brings us up to date the next game is of course against Exeter if we look at the current uh, player stats top goal scorers Matt Tubbs, Adam McGurk and Carl Bennett all with three goals very happy with all three of them um, three goals in nine games each um, Christian Burgess the highest average rating 7.45 most assists Ender Stevens he's been doing really well best pass completion Danny Hollands most player of the matches, Christian Burgess with two, Ender Stevens with five yellow cards, and of course Michael Doyle with that red card earlier on in the season. Now, if we're going to transfers, I have actually started looking at, uh, obviously I brought in Arda Havar on a free transfer, he's not a bad player at all. He plays that attack and midfield role. But then we've sent a lot of our younger players out on loan, so we've got Brandon Joseph Boadi on loan at Dulwich Hamlet. Jamie Mulhall, of course, assigned from... Uh, one of the Irish clubs. Um, I can't remember which one. Who was it? 
Longford, that's the one. Uh, we've sent him straight out on loan. In fact, he scored a goal. After five appearances with Bromley, one goal. Not bad. Calvin Davies has gone to Margate. Liam Sayers has gone to Sutton Coalfield. He won't be around much longer. He won't be getting a new contract. Um, <laughs> Adam May is at Wrexham. He's looking like he's going to be a decent player. He's only 17. Kaleem Haytham. Again, probably not going to be around much longer. Uh, Russell and Chad Field. Again, not sure. He'll probably end up being off soon. Um, at Gosport. So, um, I think that's pretty much it. I have brought in a couple more. Um, where's the... Oh, no, it's, it's gone. I've brought in a couple more scouts. I've brought in Jan Hakers, um, Ernst van Nispen, and George Rooney. Um, they're my three new scouts that I've brought in. Basically just so that I can get them scouting... Um, scouting... I think it's Ireland and Wales for younger players. Um, where's my assignments? There it is. Uh, yeah, Wales, Ireland... Um, they should just be scouting for youth players. I know, maybe not. I might have messed that up, but I'll look into that. Um, yeah, so hopefully they can find us a couple of uh, hidden gems. That would be lovely to take us forward. Right, so if we get into the game against Exeter, um, oh dear, um, <laughs> we, we're at home, aren't we? No, yeah, we're at home. So we'll go for the more attacking role. Bring Cameron Gale back in. Ben Davies was moaning big time about not getting enough game time. He's he doesn't play in the position that we'd be using him very well. Um, where's oh? This is why I brought him. Of course, he would be injured, wouldn't he? In fact, I wonder if yeah, <laughs> he is injured for the game. <laughs> I'm gonna have to play Hornstrup out in left back. Oh dear, um, he's a fullback as well, and he's he's even he's not a great fitness. Um, let's stick him to defend, give him the best chance possible. That's a bit better. Um, then we're gonna have to take out Arda Hava, stick in Connor Chaplin there, and then who have we got that can go on the bench in his place? Adam Barton's back, sweet. Maybe someone that we look into using very soon. Um, he's only 24 years old, advanced playmaker. He's better in that position, apparently. But I don't know. We'll probably use him around here. Maybe as our attacking outlet. Um, take put Tubbs back in, in place of Bennett. So yeah, I think that's going to be the team. Uh, Murphy, Hornstrap, Clark, Burgess, Gale, Doyle, Fotheringham. Bennett, Chaplin, McGurk, and Tubbs. Um, why is Doyle so... That's a bit more like it. But still not too sure about this here. Um, Matt Clark is left centre-back, but he can, by lots of things, play out there. So I'm wondering what's, it, what's he like. He's not terrible out there by lots of things. Let's try him as a limited fullback. I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with that actually. Have Hornstrap on the bench because he's quite low fitness. Clark will just have to play on left back for this game. Um, hopefully, we can get back to winning ways or at least be unbeaten. I, to be honest, seven wins, one draw, and one loss in the first nine games. Very happy with that. Very happy with that. If we can go to get to the tenth game with only one loss and one draw, or even if it's just with one loss, I'll be over the moon. Um, so yeah, there we go. Right, this is going to be a very interesting game once again. Um, and let's see how we get on. What's my bench looking like? Cormier's there. Barton. Barton. I may bring on this game, Hollands as well, depending on pass completion and things like that. Right. 
part of the trouble is I've got such a I have got quite a big squad. Oh, actually, um, oh, those are okay. Yeah, I have got a pretty sizable squad, um, and it's hard to keep everyone happy. As I say, um, Ben Davies was moaning. He's not naturally a right back on here. He is apparently in real life Fotheringham ball in. It's caught by Bobby Alejnik. Um Yeah, he's he's been moaning because he's used at right back with Pompey in real life. But on here, he's a right winger. And he's only one star at right back. Now, that might be something that uh, SI have to look into. Oh, come on, no. Really? That is terrible. Absolutely terrible. We've been all over him, and then after nine minutes, they suddenly break and get the lead. Come on, boys, we don't want to lose again two games on the trot, that would not be good. Possession wise we're dominating. Tubbs, Tubbs free kick, oh, it's over the bar. See we're, we're not doing badly, we, we don't really need to change anything, it's just a case of someone needs to step up and take a chance and we need to stop putting in these tackles rather than just let them keep the ball. Put the challenges in, stop them from passing it past them. Well then, Chaplin, oh it's great ball, Matt Tubbs is terrible angle though, into Bennett, Bennett, McGurk, oh come on, Fotheringham, Gale, come on, ball over the top, it's headed away, it's a throw in. Um, yeah, our finishing is really letting us down at the moment, Clark to Bennett, Bennett, that's, oh, gone away with that, Chaplin to Tubbs, Fotheringham, you find a pass, you can't. And away come Exeter, and this is going to be 2 0. They've got man over, 2 0. Right, before this gets too bad, uh, I'm going to change things up here. Um, let's try and. Use tight marking. Let's try that. Let's try to keep possession a bit more. Try and control the game a little bit because this is absolutely dreadful so far. They've had two shots, two goals. We've had six shots, one on target. Gale now. McGurk. Chaplin now. Chaplin, can he find into Doyle? Doyle looks to Bennett. Carl Bennett. Oh, is it the post? Oh, come on! What is that, Bennett? Oh, my days. We have not been good. I mean, stats wise, yeah, we've been great, but. Um. Right. Doyle's been apparently a lot of mistakes so that's the point where I'm going to bring on Danny Hollands I think for the start yeah um, Tubbs Tubbs can score it's the trouble so I think I'll keep Tubbs on for now but this has not been good oh come on Gale we just seem to be all over the place That's it, well in. Well on Chaplin. Right now we break. Now break. Hollands. Tubbs. Matt Tubbs running at them. He's gonna shoot any. No, fothering them. Chaplin. Hollands. That's a ball. Oh, Bennett. McGurk out there first. Ball back to Fotheringham. Into Hollands. Hollands tackled. And now they're gonna break. I'm shitty with the tackle. Um that's another highlight. Well in Shitu, Bennett, Chaplin, 
we've looked slightly better, I think, this second half. Um, we're not giving the ball away so much. Tubbs, Bennett. Bennett ball across, it's cleared away. That's poor. That is really poor. Why we're not playing that along the floor there into the middle? Clark, Harley. This is going to be three. Feel it coming. There we go. Oh, good save. Right, now, Tubbs has been absolutely dreadful this game. And Bennett has as well. So I'm not really bothered about the one star of Kawamia there. Um, he's probably going to do better than Bennett has been. Mind you, can McGurk play out there? He could play as a winger. He may be slightly better as a winger out there. Yeah, there we go. And then have him as a winger at support. And then Bennett. Defensive forward. With an absolute shocker today. Really have. Too many players haven't put in the performance that I'm expecting. Fothering them out. Sends it long for Matt Tubbs. We've scored from this kind of position before. Tubbs to Chaplin. That's Port from Chaplin. Hollands. Back up to Matt Clark. Hollands. Carl Bennett. Hollands. Oh. Was unlucky from Holland. We've definitely stepped things up the second half. Um, Fotheringham free kick. Oh, well, I've really that is dreadful, absolutely dreadful. Let's kick long. Shitu's there to clear up. Hopefully, don't do anything stupid. Thank you, Burgess. Mason Bennett now. Can he make something happen? Mason Bennett. Oh, unlucky. It wasn't terrible. I'm going to have to stick us back on to... I think I'm going to have to stick us on overload. We need to go for this now. Harley's ball in. Burgess for the header. Mason Bennett is away here. We've got a massive counter here. McGurk. Find the pass. That's it. Holland. Oh, my... Really? Why is he shooting from there? Fothering him now. Holland's McGurk. Cross blocked, and this is where they break. Oh no, throw in. It's Grant. Put the tackle in, put the tackle. Oh, God. And then Burgess, Murphy to Clark. Up to McGurk. McGurk now. Chaplin. Into McGurk again. Back up, to, back into Chaplin. Hollands. Hollands to McGurk. Oh, he's offside. He's hit it wide anyway. We're getting a lot of highlights now. Um, don't. Don't. This is embarrassing. It's absolutely embarrassing. This is the worst performance we've put in so far. Absolutely shocking. Really are. Look. 18 shots to their 6. And we're 3-0 down. Holland. To Matt Clark, come on, just get the ball in. Fothering them. Trouble, they've gone, they went massively like counter attacking. Um, if we'd been on control from the start, we might have had a chance. But Fotheringham's ball in, headed away, Kuomia. Gale has cleared away again, and now they're going to break. Harley, Wheeler, a sift. Oh, what well am Gonna have to throw everything at this now. Um, pump ball into the box. Gonna have to go a bit route one. Sorry, Pompey fans. Shit, who's head up? McGurk, Mason Bennett. Oh, come on. Well in Shitu, back to Murphy. 87 minutes gone. Bennett now, Mason Bennett. It's on target, but Jesus, Newport 4, Crawley 4. Look at that, 22 shots, 57% possession. If they go 4 0 up now. There goes the full time whistle, absolutely shocking. Um, I'm not happy at all. In fact, I'm tempted to uh, actually have a team meeting after that game because that was embarrassing. 
That was absolutely embarrassing. Um, can I have one? Um, no, okay, but let's go for that. Yep, do need to buck our ideas up. Right, so, yep, as I say, that's the second loss of the season. I'm not surprised. Yeah, I'd agree with Carl Bennett underperforming. Cameron Gow wasn't great. Murphy wasn't great. The overall of Stack Stark. Oh, that's handy because we're playing them next. Who was it? Danny Shitu. Shouldn't be talking to the press, mate. Jeez. Right, anyway, that is, as I say, the pretty much the end of this episode. Um, I'm really sorry about that performance in the live comm. We weren't good enough at all. Um, going forward, the next episode will have the live game away at Notts County. So we're actually pr pretty much up to date with real life. Um, I'm recording this on... what is the date today? It's the 19th of November. So we're actually just before this game. So the following episode will probably... Yeah, it'll surpass real time. So, it'll be an interesting point to maybe compare where Pompey are in reality compared to where we are on here. Um, should be fun. So, yeah, as obviously, again, this is going to be followed by a short video. Um, three goals that we've scored this month um, for a goal of the month competition. Please, please get involved if you're in, if you are. Uh, if you're interested in that kind of thing, feel free to get involved, feel free to comment, and things like that. Um, so, it's probably going to go until, I don't know when. Yeah, I'll have to think about that, i have to think about when I, uh, when I leave that till. But yeah, thank you again for watching. Um, please, please hit that like button. Please subscribe. It really would mean the world to me. If, if obviously, if you want to carry on watching these, um, I have been uploading videos that aren't Football Manager as well. So um, there's going to be more stuff being put up on my channel um, as time progresses. If you're interested in anything from uh, like gaming, Rocket League, um, may play a bit of Ark, uh, Town of Salem, maybe um, Left 4 Dead 2, like my um, video on the Teletubbies mod. Just please subscribe. Um, it really would mean the world to me. So yeah, thank you once again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.